Hello and welcome to this video in which I explain to you the principles of cross-strung versus straight-strung grand pianos. Until the end of the 19th century all grand pianos were straight-strung. This means that their strings were running in parallel, not crossing over. Towards the end of the 19th century, um, clever piano builders came up with the idea that you could actually make the lowest bass strings cross over um, the strings of the next section. And this would allow you to have longer bass strings in mid-sized and small-sized pianos. So in a piano of the same size, you could fit longer bass strings. And of course, this would contribute um, to sound quality in the bass. If you had mid-sized or small-sized grand pianos, you could have relatively long um, bass strings, uh, which would of course contribute to a, a profound, round and growling bass, even in smaller sized pianos. So this was a huge advantage. And because of this advantage, afterwards all pianos, um, almost all pianos in the 20th centuries were built according to this new principle with um, bass strings crossing over. Um, it was only in uh, recent years that a piano builder called Chris Mene started to reintroduce the straight strong principle in modern um, pianos. Um, I think this is a very interesting idea to see, hear and feel what it means if you reintroduce this principle from the 19th century in really modern pianos. But, okay, what are the differences? I, uh, already mentioned that you can have longer bass strings if they cross over, that's obvious. But what does this mean with regard to sound? Now, if the strings are crossing over, they are physically close together and this means that the sound um, mixes uh, very well, it blends very well, the sound between the different registers blends very well and this is due to the vibrations that um, can very easily transfer and um, they happen more or less physically also in a similar place, so they can transfer very easily from the, uh, between uh, both sections, the lowest and the second lowest section of the piano. Um, in a straight strong piano, this is different, because um, the strings are physically further apart from each other, and this means that um, the sound from the different registers is more clearly distinguishable, it mixes a little bit less and it seems or sounds like the sound is further apart. Now if you sit in the audience you will probably not notice this because the sound that you hear in the audience is reflected several times. It is reflected mainly by the lid, it is probably reflected from walls, it is probably reflected from people who sit around you, so you will anyway hear a sound on sound waves that have mixed several, several times. But for the pianist it's different, because the pianist sits outside um, this blending of the sound um, through the lid. He hears it much more directly as it is produced from the hammers and the strings, and without much reflection actually. And in order to demonstrate this I will place um, stereo microphones more or less in the position of the pianist. So I will place them right behind and a little bit above my ears, so you can hear how this sounds for me as a pianist. What you will hear is that in a straight strung piano, you will hear that um, the registers are more clearly and more easily identifiable. Um, if I play chords in the lower registers, the single notes of these chords will um, appear much more clearly, whereas on the modern um, cross strung piano, you will hear that the sounds blend much more. Um, the, the different notes that I'm playing blend much more into one whole um, cloud of sound. Now, enjoy the comparison and have fun!